The Perseverance by Raymond Antrobus The truth is, I'm not slash a fist fighter, writes Raymond Antrobus. I'm all heart, no technique. Readers who fall for this streetwise feint may miss out on the subtle technique from the pantoum and sestina to dramatic monologue and erasure of the perseverance. But this literary debut is all heart too. Heart plus technique. All delivered in a voice that resists over simple categorization. As a poet of deaf experience, his verse gestures toward a world beyond sound. As a Jamaican slash British poet, he deconstructs the racialized empire of signs from within. Perhaps that slash between verses and signs is where the truth is. Hello, Toronto. We even know. Um, this is an incredible privilege to be heard. I, I can't, I can't really put into words, ironically, uh, how this feels. But it truly is a privilege to have your ears. Thank you. This poem is called Dear Hearing World. It's after a poet called Dinez Smith. And um, I wrote it after deciding that I need to go back into deaf schools. Once I come across, I came across a, a statistic that said in the UK, around 75% of deaf young people grow up illiterate. I went to Jamaica, they told me 95% of people born profoundly deaf grow up illiterate. I went to Trinidad, 95% of people born deaf, profoundly deaf, grow up illiterate. And that doesn't mean that deaf people don't have language. It means that the way it's been, in a way, assessed and protected and uh, valued in our society is at odds with a language that we need as deaf people. This poem is in honor of all of those ears and yours, dear hearing world. I've left Earth in search of sounder orbits, a solar system where the space between a star and a planet isn't empty. I've left a white beard of noise in your place, and many of you won't know the difference. We are indeed the same volume. All of us eventually fade. I've left Earth in search of an audible God I do not trust the sound of yours. You would not recognize my grandmother's hallelujah if she had to sign it. You would have made her sit on her hands and put a ruler in her mouth as if measuring her distance from holy. Take your God back. Though his songs are beautiful, they are not loud enough. I want the fate of Lazarus for every deaf school you've closed. Every deaf child whose confidence has gone to a silent grave. Every BSL user who has seen the annihilation of their language. I want these ghosts to haunt your tongue-tied hands. I have left Earth. I am equal part sick of your old and hard of hearing too. Just because you've been on an aeroplane or suffered head colds. Your voice has always been the loudest sound in a room. I call you out for refusing to acknowledge sign language in class classrooms for assessing deaf students on what they can't say instead of what they can. They did not ask to be part of the hearing world. I can't hear my joints crack, but I can feel them. I am sick of sounding out your rules. You tell me I breathe too loud and it's rude to make noise when I eat. Sent me to speech therapist, said I was speaking a language of holes. I was pronouncing what I heard, but your judgment made all my syllables disappear. Your magic master trick hearing world, drowning out the quiet, bursting all speech bubbles in my graphic childhood. You were glad to benefit from audio supremacy. I tried hearing people. I tried to love you, but you laughed at my deaf grammar. I used commas, not full stops, because everything I said kept running away. I mulled of a long paragraph because I didn't know what a natural break sounded like. You were raised what could have always been poetry. You were raised what could have always been poetry. Taught me I was inferior to standard English expression. I was a broken speaker. You were never a broken interpreter. Taught me my speech was dry for someone who should sound like they're underwater. And it took years to talk with a straight spine and mute red marks in the coursework you assigned. Deaf voices go missing like sound in space. And I have left Earth to find them. <laughs>